in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Compassion and Rest Ignatian Meditation on Mark 6 30-34 Welcome to this Ignatian meditation on Mark 6, 30 to 34. In this passage, we observe Jesus' deep compassion for the crowds and his care for his disciples' well-being. As we enter into this scripture, let us open our hearts to the lessons of compassion and the need for rest in our service to others. Let's begin by reading the scripture passage together. The apostles gathered around Jesus and told him all that they had done and taught. He said to them, Come away to a deserted place all by yourselves and rest a while. For many were coming and going, and they had no leisure even to eat. And they went away in the boat to a deserted place by themselves. But many saw them going and recognized them, and they hurried there on foot from all the towns and arrived ahead of them. As he went ashore, he saw a great crowd, and he had compassion for them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. In Mark 6, 30 to 34, Jesus listens as the apostles share their experiences of ministry. Recognizing their need for rest after their labors, he invites them to retreat to a secluded place. However, their attempt at solitude is interrupted by the persistent needs of the crowd. Despite their own need for rest, Jesus responds with profound compassion, seeing the crowd as shepherdless sheep and proceeding to teach them. Imagine yourself as one of the disciples, returning to Jesus filled with stories of your service. Feel the exhaustion mixed with fulfillment as you recount your experiences to him. Contemplate Jesus' invitation to rest. Reflect on the significance of Jesus recognizing the need for balance between work and rest. How does this resonate with your own life and ministry? Are there moments when you should heed Jesus' call to come away and rest a while? Visualize the scene as Jesus and his disciples try to escape to a quiet place, only to be met by a large crowd. Put yourself in the shoes of the disciples, and then shift your perspective to see through the eyes of Jesus. What emotions and thoughts might arise in seeing the eager crowd waiting? Consider Jesus' reaction to the crowd. Despite his own plans and the collective weariness, he is moved by compassion. Reflect on how compassion overrides his own needs. How can you cultivate such compassion in your own interactions, especially when you're tired or have other plans? Let's take a moment for prayerful contemplation. Invite the Holy Spirit to guide your reflections. Ask for the grace to recognize when you need rest and the courage to take it, trusting that God will manage what you cannot. Pray for a heart of compassion like that of Jesus. Ask for the ability to see beyond your own needs and to respond to others with love and understanding, even when it's inconvenient. How do you balance the demands of serving others with the need for personal rest and rejuvenation? Can you recall a time when you felt overwhelmed by the needs of others? 
How did you respond? What steps can you take to ensure you're caring for yourself while also being available to serve and show compassion to others? How can the example of Jesus' compassion inspire you to act in your community, family, or workplace? As we conclude this Ignatian meditation on Mark 6 30-34, let us embrace both the need for rest and the call to compassion in our lives. May we follow Jesus' example, balancing care for ourselves with our responsibility to care for others. Let us move forward with renewed commitment to serve with compassion, and to rest, knowing that in both, we honor God. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.